Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Waldia and in today's video as you can see the baby fro is out because it is going to be a hair video. I usually dread this time of year because this is when I usually go in and trim my hair. I do like to go ahead and trim my hair twice a year, once in January and then the second time around June, July. I usually dread trimming my hair not because I'm afraid of losing length. Like I don't care too much for length. I care more for health than length. The reason why I dread it is because it was hard for me to find a method that actually worked for me. Before, I would just go in with some scissors and um, section my hair and then go in and trim it like that. But now I have another method that's going to make this process much easier. I've been doing natural hair videos and my ends were all raggedy so excuse me for that and it's definitely time um, for a trim. But just to give you a quick update on my natural hair, I guess journey, it's not a journey, I just want my hair to be healthy. As you can see, I do like to protective style on and off, um, nothing much has changed. I wash my hair once a week or once bi-weekly depending on how much product I put in my hair and I'm still sticking to what I usually do which is moisturize my hair with a leave-in conditioner or a moisturizer from a brand like Lada Body or Diva Curl and then I am still sealing my hair with that good old um, Blue Magic. My hair has been doing great with the Blue Magic. I haven't experienced any breakage um, product buildup I don't get because I do clarify my hair every once in a while like maybe once a month if it's necessary. So to answer everyone's questions about the Blue Magic and how my hair has been doing with it my hair is doing great and I find that um, my hair is much thicker and I've also been able to gain some length with the blue magic it works for me now for today's trim I did go ahead and shampoo and deep condition my hair and I also went in and uh, blow dried my hair on low setting using the Revlon one-in-one style and dryer if you guys um, didn't see that video of me blow drying my hair check it out I'll leave the link and as you'll see from that video compared to my hair now my hair has gotten much thicker I think in my opinion yeah it's gotten much thicker and it is longer so whatever I've been doing it's working and you know what's funny because I don't um, blow dry my hair often I'll be fooled by shrinkage all right so after I, I, I wash my hair my hair be like this long so I can't really assess really how much growth I've gotten and also the thickness but once I blow dry it I'm just like whoa I didn't even uh, think that my hair grew as much as it did but no it really did all right so just to give you guys an idea like a couple of months ago my hair was like at collarbone all right and now with the back as you can see it's past collarbone and this is me with just uh blow dried hair I'm not even gonna go in and straighten it I'm not doing that mm -mm. all right in the front the last I checked it was like right above my lip like it was like right here okay but as you can see with the front yeah uh, that's grown about an inch or so it's like at my chin so yeah my hair is definitely growing and it's a lot thicker y'all I just want thick hair if the length comes with that that's just the cherry on top but my goal is for thick hair because I feel like when you have a uh, thick full hair you can pretty much pull off any hairstyle you want you know what I mean so yeah that's the goal on this channel and I know you're asking, I'm going to section my hair so I can get started. I know you're asking why not just go to the salon and get it done. Because, I don't know, I haven't found a natural hair salon. If you guys don't know, I am located in New Jersey. I'm not going to go to regular hair salons because I feel like they use too much heat on natural hair. So, I'm just like, you know, terrified of heat damage. So, I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, I haven't found a great natural hair salon in New Jersey that I can go to that can take care of, you know, trimming my hair etc so if you guys know of any like natural hair salons in New Jersey let me know so that I can check them out cuz yeah I feel like I, mean, I don't want to always do my hair I want somebody else to do my hair you know what I mean so yeah let me know all right so I'm gonna work back here and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do large twists and just from here you can see where I need my ends trim before I used to just go in and trim it like this but I found it difficult for some reason so um, I'm going to twist this section first. So now I'm going to take my thumb and my index finger and I'm just going to begin to just slide it down the twist and wherever you feel like a different texture or like your hair is starting to thin out, that's what you want to cut and that's right here. Okay, I'm going to do that again. See, like up here is thick, it's a certain texture that I feel. Alright, but once I get to the ends, 
I feel that it's brittle. That's what the word I'm looking for. Wherever you feel like it starts to get brittle, that's the part you want to trim. Right here. All right, guys, yeah, trim your hair. Don't hold on to brittle hair, brittle ends, and damaged hair. Your twist styles and your styles will come out much better. Trust me, okay? All right. So once I get here, I'm like, oh, uh, it feels different. It's brittle. Just gonna go in and don't just buy any pair of scissors, y'all, to trim your hair. It needs to be, um, you know, the scissors that's made for hair. What is this called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll leave it in uh, my description box so you can check it out um, for yourself, all right? Just gonna trim this just like that, okay? And look at the difference. Before, that end was so like, raggedy and brittle okay but now when I slide my finger it's all the same texture all right and this is what I cut literally it doesn't have to be a lot okay now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same right here just twisting it up all right now I'm just gonna slide my finger down the twist I already see where I need to trim and right when I get here, feel that difference. So I'm gonna trim this just like that. Ah, that feels so good. <laughs> and hair grows back, y'all. Okay. Again, I'm gonna show you how much I trim. Just the the ends. Gonna basically do the same thing. I don't have to run my finger through the whole twist. I already see exactly where I need to trim. See those ends? Yeah. <laughs> I look crazy, right? Yeah. It's all good. There you have it. Yes, no more raggedy ends. Yes, get rid of them, ladies. There's no point in holding on to them. They messed everything up. My twist outs weren't coming out the same. I was like, oh no, time to get rid of these. And this is the amount of hair that I trimmed, not much. So that's it guys, I'm, I'm not gonna go out <laughs> like this, all right? But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer this method or which method you use to trim your hair. If there's an easier way to do this, let me know because I'm down for learning and improvising and improving my method. I share with you and you guys share with me. Feel free to reciprocate, you know what I mean? The love, all right? Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow me on all of my social media, especially Instagram and Snapchat because I do post you know, daily updates with what's going on with me hair, makeup, life, pretty much everything. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye.